Welcome back. We are talking about how your trail hand grip or your right hand grip for right handers determines how your body works during the swing, especially at the top of the backswing. As I said before, there's three ways to do everything. So three different types of grips will give you three different types of positions. So have a look at these swings. Coming up, so we've, we'll have Scotty Scheffler, Justin Rose, and Zach Johnson. Now, as we look, if we have a look at each of these guys, their grips. So Zach Johnson, he's got a strong right hand. So if I zoom in, on Zach Johnson, draw a line up his right hand. That V is going to his right shoulder. Now we go across Justin Rose. He's got a different right hand grip. That V is going in between the right shoulder and the right ear. And then Scotty Scheffler. But he's going to his nose. All different, aren't they? So very, very different. So what happens in this case now is when you've got a different grip, your body positions at the top of your backswing or your spine tilt, mm. so right side bend, whatever you want to call it, top of the backswing is going to be different. So now we go to the top of the backswing. Oh, lo and behold, their spine angles almost match what they need to do with their grips. So as you can see in different positions here, so Zach Johnson, they were the grips, now they're their positions of the spine. So if I take these lines away, Zach Johnson, actually that probably goes belly button to, to his nose, Justin Rose, belly button to nose, not as strong, Scotty Scheffler. There we go. So look at all the positions, or you can have a look by the back. Zach Johnson's back, Justin Rose is back, Scotty Scheffler. They all look different, don't they? So it has to match. These guys are successful golfers. Yes, they're talented, but they also match their pattern. So there's no point having a strong grip like Zach Johnson and trying to be like Scotty Scheffler. It ain't going to work. So that's why these guys are going along nicely because it all matches. So I'll show you another video, and it's a different. There's your comparison. There's your grips. There's the top of the backswing. So it all matches their spine. So these are the little things you can pick up on. Now, you're not going to hit it like Justin Rose, but you might be more consistent if you've got a neutral grip or if you've got the weak grip like Scotty Scheffler. They're the position you need to look for. Zach Johnson will not go too well trying to get his spine like Scotty Scheffler at the top of the backswing. So it's all about matching. As I said, three ways to do everything. And this is why you can't teach the same thing to everyone. Like I use the analogy for the people that come in for an uh, in-person lesson. I said, you walk in to the pro shop to buy some shoes. Not everyone is a size nine. Not everyone. So you got people that are size 12, so people that are size eight. People have got wide feet, people have got skinny feet. It's like buying a shirt, small, medium, and large. Well, extra large and triple extra large if you want to go to extremes. But small, medium, and large. They're your options. Glove size, small, medium, large. What are they? There's three options. So it's the same in the golf swing, and it's just a matter of matching yours. So no, no point if you've got a small hand, you don't put a large glove on, do you? You put something that fits correctly. So this is what's happening in the golf swing. So that is what we're trying to achieve. These are the positions. That's how. So strong right hand grip, you need, like Zach Johnson, you need just, we call that a counter swivel. So you swivel to the right. Okay, Justin Rose, everything's quite neutral. His grip's neutral, his arm length to height's neutral, his forearm to humerus, is, uh, humerus to biceps, neutral, everything's quite neutral. So his swing looks very, very nice to look at. Same. And then Scotty Scheffler, weak right hand, gets the spine going this way. So which way are you? You can all be tested and measured. So if you need any help or if you've got any questions on this, send me a message. If you need a lesson, find me on Skillist. If you like the video, 
please hit the like button, subscribe button, and notification. You'll receive a notification there, bell each week. And if you've got any questions, as I said, please do not hesitate to contact me or you can find me on the Skillist app if you would like a lesson.